Hello friends, here in this video we are going to see a problem on projection of planes. For that, here is the question. Draw the true shape of a plane, the elevation of which is an equilateral triangle of 60 mm sides with one side perpendicular to the xy line. The plan is a line inclined at 60 degree to xy. So this is the question in front of us. Now here I will be explaining the conditions step by step. Now the question is, draw the true shape of a plane, we have to find what is the shape of the plane, means what is the exact shape, the elevation of which is an equilateral triangle. So the elevation means the front view and in the front view, the object is seen as an equilateral triangle of 60 mm sides. But this is not the true shape of the section. We have to get the true shape means the condition which they have given here that the elevation is an equilateral triangle of 60 mm side. It is the second condition. So here we are going to start the second condition and then move back and draw the initial condition which will give us the true shape. So here I am drawing an equilateral triangle in VP that is in the elevation or I can say front view. <coughs> So measuring 60 mm, next I'll measure this distance in the compass. Drawing an arc, cutting it from the other side. So here I'm getting a point. I'll give the rotations here. So this is the equilateral triangle and in this question further they have given that one side is perpendicular to xy line. So that side I am taking it as a dash b dash which is perpendicular to the xy line. Next, the plan is a line inclined at 60 degree to xy. So plan means the top view and for that it is given that it is inclined at 60 degree. So when I am looking from top in that case both the points a dash b dash are visible to me at this same location which is a comma b then measuring 60 degree from here.
drawing a light line through this point I am extending it then I will project this point C dash in HP So here I am getting point C So what I had done here is taken this plane inclined at 60 degree projected C dash downwards now A B and C this is the length of the cutting plane and the length of the cutting plane is corresponding to the true shape of the section so here I am seeing this plane in the top view it appears as a line in the front view an equilateral triangle so that is an inclined plane and this is the length of the plane so I will take this same length from AB up to point C keeping a point here and cutting the XY line so here I am getting the points this is C and here there are a comma b so the plane which was inclined here in the second condition has become a straight horizontal line here next i'll get the front view and that will be the true shape of the section so projecting a b upwards in vp then projecting a dash b dash on this line So here I am getting points A dash and B dash respectively. Then for point C, So this gives me the point C dash joining them So this is the true shape of the triangle. Now I'll make it dark again step by step. First this equilateral triangle which I had drawn.
So after reaching here, now this gives me the true shape. drawing the center line So this is the true shape of the section and here is the apparent shape. sixty mm side. Even here the equilateral triangle is of sixty mm side. And as we can see in this question, here the true shape is an isosceles triangle. A A dash C dash is equal to A B dash C dash. And when keeping A dash B dash as fixed, this C dash was turned by 60 degree, we are getting an equilateral triangle where all the sides are equal. And so with this, the problem gets completed. <coughs>